Hey there, let's start with Feliciano Lopez and his leg strength training. It's no secret that Feliciano Lopez, the Spanish professional tennis player, was known for his impressive athleticism and powerful shots on the tennis court. Leg strength is of paramount importance of tennis players as it enables them to generate explosive power to their shots, maintain balance and swiftly move around the court. So. One of the primary leg exercises that he incorporated into his training routine was box jump. There are plyometric exercises that target the leg muscles, particularly the quad ribs, hamstrings, and glutes. These exercises involve explosive jumping onto a box or a platform, then landing swiftly and immediately jumping back down. These workouts improve explosive power, lower body strength, and muscular endurance allowing Lopez to generate more force in his shots and quickly react to his opponent's moves. Another key component of Lopez's legs training was uh, the treadmill. Running on the treadmill helps building cardiovascular endurance, which is essential for tennis players who engage in long matches. Additionally, running at a very speed, uh, at a varying speed, sorry, and inclines on the treadmill challenges the different muscles group in the legs, improving the strength and endurance. This exercise also enhances footwork coordination, agility, and enabling Lopez to swiftly cover the coat and respond to shots effectively. Squats are yet another integral part of Feliciano Lopez's legs workout routine. They are compound exercises that target mat all muscles simultaneously, including the quad ribs, the hamstrings, the glutes, and even the core. By performing squats, Lopez strengthens the muscles responsible uh, for explosive movement, stability, and balance. These benefits transfer directly to, the, uh, to his performance on the tennis court, where quick bursts of power and precise footwork are then crucial for success. So in addition to these foot intense squats, lunges and another and another and another exercise that um, Lopez incorporated incorporated to his target to the uh, target uh, to target his legs um, compressively, lunges uh, primarily engage uh, the quad ribs, hamstrings and glutes and calves. They not only build build the leg strength but also improve flexibility, stability and coordination. Lunges are particularly effective for replicating the movement involved in a lateral and forward movement in the tennis court, allowing Lopez to navigate the court smoothly and reach wide shots efficiently. So it's not it's um sorry, it's worth noting that Feliciano Lopez's leg strength training was not only limited to this exercise alone. Like professional output, his training routine likely incorporated a variety of exercises and technique to achieve a well-rounded leg workout. This could uh, be included um, the names of exercises such as um, leg presses, deadlifts, calf raises, and plyometric exercises like these lateral jumps and single leg hoops. So um, furthermore, to optimize the benefits of leg Leg workouts. Uh, Lopez likely followed a uh, uh, periodized training program. This involved varying the intensity of volume and type of exercise over the time to prevent plateaus and, uh, and ensure continuous progress. He constantly uh, engaged his legs with uh, different exercises in his training methodologies. Lopez was continually improving his leg. Uh, leg strength, power, and endurance. Moreover, it's important to highlight the long side of the leg workout. Feliciano Lopez likely engages in a, a engaged in a compressive training regimen that includes other aspects of his physical fitness, such as cardiovascular training, upper body strength exercise, and core stability work, agility drills, and flexibility exercise. This is a was a holistic approach in ensuring that he maintain a well-rounded physical condition, enabling him to perform at his best in the tennis court. 
do this and I bet you'll see the difference. Oh now boy. Now let's talk about uh, Feliciano Lopez forehand. It's quite interesting to analyze his technique. When it comes to his forehand, Lopez utilizes a short compact motion with a delightful swing path. His swing path, uh, his swing starts for it from a high position, then goes low, and then finally returns to a high position again. This particular motion gives his forehand a unique, a unique quality. One thing I've noticed about Lopez's technique is how well he keeps his head still during contact. It's essential for maintaining a control and accuracy in shots. By keeping his head steady, he ensures that his eyes remain focused on the ball, allowing him to make precise contact. This contributes to the consistency and effectiveness of his forehand. Another aspect worth mentioning is the use of the so-called lag effect in his forehand. Lopez positioned his forearm uh, muscles in, into a pre-stretched position just before making contact with the ball. This action creates a cold energy in his arm, which is then released upon impact. The lag effect enhances the power and pace of his forehand, making it a formidable weapon on the tennis court. So, despite having a solid forehand technique, I believe that Lopez didn't go for his forehand aggressively enough at times. He often opts for a safer approach by spinning the ball in rather than taking risk and going for winners. This tendency must stem for his upbringing in Spain, where he likely played on a clay court regularly. Clay courts are known for favoring a more defensive style of play, as a slower surface encourages players to rely, to, uh, to rely on topspin and patience. Growing up in that environment, it's possible that Lopez became accustomed in playing with control spin, which, which he now carries uh, into his game on the other surface as well. While this defensive approach can be effective in certain situations, there are moments when being more assertive and aggressive with his forehand uh, could give Lopez an advantage. By taking more opportunities to attack and go for winners, he could put additional pressure to his opponents and dedicate flow of the match. Going ahead, so let's talk about Feliciano Lopez arm walkouts. Ah, in this routine, he mostly did cable walkouts. They uh, can be, uh, they can, they target, sorry, specific muscle groups in his arms, such as the core ribs, the, uh, sorry, the biceps and the triceps. This exercise helped to build um, strength and endurance, enabling him to hit powerful shots and maintain consistency throughout long matches, like grand slots. He also did swing, swimming, as you know, it involves repetitive arm movement against the resistance of the water, which helps to develop both strength and in muscular endurance. This not only strengthens his arms, but also improves his overall stamina. Assuming is a great cardiovascular exercise, and let's go not to go f uh, much further. He adds push-ups. They are classic exercises that target multiple muscle groups in his lower body, including the chest, shoulder, and arms. By regularly performing push-up, Lopez was able to build strength in his arms and develop necessary stability and control needed for his shots and tennis court. So the effects were: Feliciano Lopez was able to. Maximize his performance on tennis court. Strong arms allow him to generate greater racket speed, hit powerful shots, and maintain accuracy and control throughout matches. It's all part of his dedication to improving the game and staying at the top of his sport. Let's take a closer look at Flashiano Lopez itself. It's a thing of beauty, characterized by its fluidity and impeccable body position. From the very beginning of his motion, Lopez turns away from his target, just like all the great servers do. This turning away allows him to generate power and prepare for explosive movement that follows. As Lopez begins uh, his forward motion, you can see his entire body moving upward, uh, forward into the court. This forward momentum is crucial for generating power and speed. In his sub. Just 
just before contact, his chest is facing the sky, indicating that he has m maximized the exertion, sorry, the extension and rotation of his upper body. This position allows him to unleash his full potential to the, to the shot. One distinctive aspect is you can see on Lopez's serve is his sideward stance. While many players opt for a more directional face on stance, Lopez stays sideways throughout his motions. However, just before contact, he performs a very pronounced left shoulder over right shoulder, sorry, uh, that's called cutwell. This movement allows him to hit the ball uh, forward and out, generating a powerful and accurate serve. One fascinating observation about Lopez's technique is how he holds the racket. He keeps a loose grip and almost with his finger uh, tips, which enables him to whip the racket through the air with incredible speed. Despite this fast motion, he engages in a, to, um, to maintain a high level of accuracy in self. This combination of speed and precision is a statement of skill and control on the court. And so, about Feliciano Lopez backhand. I have to say, he got a pretty solid one backhand. When, it, when, it, when he sets up for the shot, he positions his hitting arm nicely and maintaining a sideways stance throughout. It's clearly that he got a technique down, he can uh, really strike the ball well. However, there's one thing he not, I have noticed about Lopez Bacan. Sometimes he tends to stay down with his body too much, which results in a shot not getting enough height. But don't worry, this does not happen too often. The interesting thing is that Lopez didn't seem to have a lot of confidence in his one hand. I think it's because he was so comfortable and he, and he used to relying on his superb slice backhand. While the slice is effective for him, if you're looking to emulate this style and take your game to the next level, I would suggest maybe incorporate a more aggressive toss spin backhand and reducing your sl reliance on the slice. By adding more top spin on your to backhand, you will have a greater chance of generating power and depth in your shots. It might uh, take some practice, but it will um, really elevate your game and give you more option on the tennis court. So keep Lopez backhand in your mind as you work on your game. And don't be afraid to experiment with different short selection. Good luck and keep watching.